Hi everybody to High Peaks Harvest Channel. Today we're going to go over calcium and magnesium. How it's important for your plant's health and how adding it into your soils uh, can really help your harvest out. If you're having fruits, vegetables, or your medicinal plants, you're having any issues on there, calcium and magnesium uh, is really needed. They might not be the major nutrients that we all think about like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. The calcium and magnesium really help the plant do all those processes. Without calcium and magnesium, your plants are not going to be the best they can be. Um, calcium is very important for root tip development. It also helps with cell walls. So if you've ever had a tomato and you had like a blossom end rot, uh, you had a rot on the bottom of your tomato, most likely it was a deficiency in calcium. Uh, calcium helps with your cell walls. It's going to help with the flavors. It's going to help with the aromas. You don't really need calcium in your soil. Uh, magnesium is another one. So Epsom salt. It's magnesium sulfate. So you can take one tablespoon of this, mix it with one gallon of water. You're going to end up uh, with a solution that you can feed your garden. Uh, magnesium is very important for your plants. Magnesium is needed for the process of photosynthesis. Uh, it's how your plants are going to make chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is very important. Your plants are going to make sugar. So sugars are going to go into your fruits, your vegetables, or your medicinal plants. Uh, extra sugars are made throughout the day. Your plant actually takes those sugars, sends it back down through the root zone, and it puts those sugars out to feed the bacteria around it. Now it feeds those bacteria. Those bacteria in exchange actually release some of the nutrients and exudates the material that has been breaking down. So your plant is using uh, those sugars as a bargaining chip. So magnesium is very important. Uh, magnesium is also very important for the transport and the use of phosphorus. Your tomatoes and your medicinal plants are high users of phosphorus. So you got to have your magnesium. See yellowing on your plants, a lot of times it's either nitrogen or it's magnesium that's causing that issue. We'll move on to calcium. That's what majorly what we're talking about here today. Um, you could take eggshells at home. Take your eggshells, save them after you're done cooking with them, put them off to the side, get a good supply of them. You're going to take your eggshells, break them up a little bit. You know, they don't have to be that small. You're looking quarter inch size. That's fine. Break them up. You don't want to put them in a frying pan. Now you can cook this indoors or outdoors. If you do do it indoors, it is going to smell a little bit so not to affect other family members you might want to do this outside but you could take a frying pan put eggshells in there roast it over a stove for you know 15 20 minutes low heat lightly brown is what you're looking for you want to dry out that membrane that's on the inside of the eggshell you want the eggshells to be slightly roasted you don't want them to be dark um, and then we're going to move on so this solution we're going to make, we're going to take one cup of oyster shell or one cup of eggshells and we're going to take three cups of, of vinegar. Now it could be distilled vinegar, apple cider vinegar, rice vinegar, it doesn't really matter. It just needs to be vinegar. Um, you're going to mix that together. It's going to take about one or two weeks. You're going to see some off-gassing happening. Basically the chemical reaction you have is a calcium bicarbonate, which is your shells, mixed with an acid, and that acid's going to break that bond and it's going to turn into calcium acetate. The off-gassing is going to be your carbonate, so you're going to have some water off coming off of there and you're going to have carbon dioxide that's going to be released. Once this solution stops bubbling, you're going to take this out, you can pour it through a filter, a screen, um, and you're going to have a solution. Now that solution should be pH neutral, it should be around a 7. And that solution is going to be calcium acetate, and you're going to mix that as well as a one tablespoon of this solution to one gallon of water, and you have a liquid calcium that you can feed your plants. It's going to be readily available to your plants. They can pick it right up, and you don't have to worry about the pH because it's going to be neutral. Okay, so we have everything measured out. I have my jar right here. I'm going to have a lid. You're going to want to cover it. Uh, you could take a mason jar, big lid, you could take a paper towel, regular towel, uh, rubber band, but eventually we're going to put the solution in here and we're going to want to cover it up. 
it does have a chance to bubble over. Uh, we do want it to be open a little bit so that gases can come off it. So I'm just going to use a paper towel. Uh, you can use um, an old rag, nice and clean, put a rubber band over top of it, that'd be fine. So today I'm using the oyster shell. If I had my eggshells, it would be the same exact thing. This is one cup, pre-measured. Uh, we're going to go and put that into the bottom of this jar. Now we're going to mix this slowly. There's going to be a chemical reaction going on here. Uh, I measured out three cups of vinegar. We're going to add this slowly. We're going to watch this chemical reaction kind of happen. That's one cup. Now this is how fast this starts off gassing. So this is the reason why we're doing slow. This right now is releasing carbon dioxide and water into the air. The vinegar is starting to slowly eat away at these oyster shells and it's starting that chemical reaction. You'll actually watch in the solution as you add it, you'll see shells float to the top. They'll release the carbon dioxide and they'll sink back down to the bottom. This whole solution will constantly keep moving. Um, might take one or two weeks. Not sure what the exact time is. Temperature plays a role into it. The environment plays a role. So what you're looking for is when you stop seeing any air exchange going on. Once the solution becomes stable, you mix it around, you don't see any more off-gassing, you are ready to take this, filter it out so you just have the solution. You can throw away the remainder of the eggshells or the oyster shells at that point in time. All you're looking for is that liquid. And that liquid's going to be mixed one tablespoon of this solution with one gallon of water and you have your calcium that you're adding. If you're looking for a cal CalMag addition to your garden, I would do it separately. So make one gallon of this solution up and one gallon of Epsom salt and feed to your plants regularly. Um, thank you. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Till the next time, keep it growing.